Item number SCP-001J, Object Class, Keter, Special Containment Procedures, the location of Site-00, where SCP-001J is to be kept, must remain in absolute secret. To this end, Site-00 will be guarded entirely by automated defense systems and have no living staff whatsoever. SCP-001J itself will be kept locked in a cube made entirely from tungsten carbide, which is itself inside another cube of tungsten carbide, which will in turn be placed at the bottom of a three kilometer long elevator shaft. Multiple mighty guards will have been carefully placed over SCP-001J and the robots on Site-00 be prepared to replace these guards if needed. Description SCP-001J is big, red, shiny, strangely appealing button that just begs to be pushed. <coughs> SCP-001J is a self-destruct mechanism that Foundation scientists believe is powerful enough to destroy reality itself, consisting of a circular red button set into a metal case. It looks like candy. Mm. The mechanism by which SCP-001-J operates is not fully understood. But it would be awesome to find out. <clears throat> SCP-001-J induces a mild psychic compulsion upon all beings who see it or hear it described to try to push it. You know you want to. <clears throat> History SCP-001-J was first discovered by President Beep of Beep in Beep in an elevator car. At that time, SCP-001-J looked exactly as it does now, except for the addition of a sticking note that says, If you push this button, you'll destroy everything. The President managed to fight his compulsion to press SCP-001-J long enough to remove SCP-001-J from the elevator and lock it in the closet of his office. Afterward, he contacted Beep, known to us as the founder, and charged him with creating a special organization with the specific goal of preventing SCP-001-J from being pressed, either by careless accident or by deliberate malice, and also with the goal of protecting humanity from monsters and stuff. People Greed took SCP-001-J and hid it under a pile of old socks in his basement. Peep spent the remainder of his life sitting on his porch, using a shotgun to fend off miscreants on his lawn, and were suspected of being SCP-001-J sympathizers. The millions of dollars he made on a stock exchange were used to create a trust fund that was the basis of our foundation. Since Beep died and the foundation was set up to replace him, there have been Beep attempts to press SCP-001-J. Before Site-00 was relocated to Antarctica, I mean, they were expunged, there were many near breaches of containment when Foundation personnel attempted to press SCP-001-J to see what would happen, and had to be terminated. There have also been numerous attempts by the Foundation's enemies to retrieve SCP-001-J, particularly the Order of the Secret Bun Pushers, who have sworn to stop at nothing to capture and press SCP-001-J. Addendum 1. I, for one, think it absurd that we still know so little of this SCP, even though we owe the creation of our organization to it, and allow petty fears of existential annihilation to prevent us from studying SCP-001-J. I propose a simple test. Using a remote control drone, we will gently tap the outer surface of SCP-001-J. If my calculations are correct, only a tiny portion of everything will be destroyed, and the probability 
the that we will be part of this portion is astronomically small. Dr. Blog. I did them too. Then lied. Report to the psych ward immediately. Oh, five feet. I did them three. Recently, many instances of objects that superficially resemble SCP-001J have appeared on the internet and elsewhere. Although they seem to share the medic effects of SCP-001J, reality destroying properties have not been confirmed. Research into the possibility of using these devices as a preventative measure against people pushing SCP-001J has been postponed due to the number of researchers who started pushing buttons and refused to stop. Addendum 4. In relation to Addendum 3, researchers unable to stop pushing SCP-001J lookalikes appear to have a chronic addiction. In fact, they now physically reliant on pushing SCP-001J lookalikes. The affected have been admitted to Beep Hospital in Beep for foundation monitoring. Further research is recommended, but how it should be carried out will be the subject of further discussion.